Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines where we are still working on the Academiopolis Institute and I was looking around in between episodes and decided this would be a pretty good place to put the Futsal Club, whatever a Futsal Club is. So I'll go ahead and place that right there. It's clearly some sort of a sports ball thing. And of course, the other question is, at which point do we actually put down our school of law? And we're going to need to embiggen this area, definitely, a little bit. So let's go ahead and... Apparently, that does not get us out of that mode. There we go. Let's go ahead and just remove this path here. And then, let's take a look here. I want this to be rotated this way, for sure. And yeah, this will definitely work. I'm just looking at the sizing here. It looks like we need to take it out about two squares. Okay. So with that in mind, let's just hop over here. Take this out. Two squares will be about here. Just the minimum amount that we can take it out. There we go. And then just connect that straight in. Can you hear it? And that should be sufficient space for the School of Law, right? It's the sound of refreshment. Pop soda refreshment. <sighs> Pop soda. It would appear Most so. Best. Maybe. Yes. It would appear this so. Is City's Radio, the best music in the universe. Excellent. Now I just want to double check up here. Okay. Now where's the entrance? It's on the side. Okay. So it would be placed something along the lines of this. Sounds good. Now is that actually going to increase, increase our capacity at all? It is, by a thousand. That's really good, because our capacity is struggling a bit right now. We have a capacity of 1,200. Our academic year is uh, winding down, but we don't have any way for them to actually uh, learn anything, so... <laughs> I'm sure that's going to go super duper well. In the meantime, yeah, I, I know that we could build a modern technology institute. Right now, we are not working on that. Now, there's these varsity sports. Does this have to be built? Okay, these can be built anywhere in the city. They do not have to be placed in the campus district. That's good. We are going to need each of these. And of course, these are museums, which can be placed anywhere in the city and only once. But they require a certain reputation, prestigious, which we do not currently have. And then, of course, there's this faculty. Uni university students who wish to specialize in certain areas go to these faculty buildings. Each building educates sims in one subject, like astronomy, art, biology, or law. Students can pick and choose to go to one of these buildings or a main university, but each faculty building operates individually. That's weird. With a student capacity of 800, and this is in modder packs even though I don't have any modding installed, I think we might just ignore the faculty. So that just seems a little strange. Okay, so we're basically right now far or rather, saving up for the School of Law. I almost said farming up. That would be a weird thing to say, though. Because there's no farming happening right now. <laughs> Absolutely none. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's farming somewhere in the world, but it's not here. Get rid of that demolished structure. What was this, this that just popped up? Hmm. Just a bunch of fluff. Okay, sounds good. Of course, we are going to have to revisit some of these. Oh, hello, we've got a bit of a garbage issue going on here. This incineration plant is not... Okay, now it is full. This recycling center is not. We need to take a look at our garbage production versus processing, though. It's pretty close. We should probably think about getting rid of one.
Hmm. I don't exactly know how these floating garbage collectors work. They lessen water pollution, and they they operate 5,000 cubic meters or 50,000 cubic meters a week. Okay. We also now have access to a few other buildings. Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion Plant. That's new. Interesting. And two two square kilometers. Nice. Okay, for now, let's just go ahead and put down a recycling center over here. That should deal with it. And we also, now that we are a colossal city, apparently, at 20,000, <laughs> we should be able to construct our School of Law. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just hop over to here. Wait, no, here. Hmm. That's liberal arts. There we go. That'll do the trick. Okay, so we place this down right here. There we go. Fantastic. So now we have a legal institute there. And I am wondering here, maybe we would need to have the university annex this space over here or something along the lines of that, because the School of Medicine and the School of Science are only for the university campus. The liberal arts and trade school campus areas have their own education buildings. And I just feel like we're not really going to have the space. I mean, we could take out these roads and have one on each side here. That'd be theoretically possible. This is still saying that we have 577 out of 500 students, which seems odd to me. Because we have a capacity of 1,200 from our dormitories and 1,000 from our school of law. Oh, that says 577 in the city. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure how well that works. Regardless, at this point, I feel like we need to reach a different level to uh, get these other buildings, right? in the university campus area. That would help. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hang on. Large buildings. That'll do. So yeah, we need to be renowned for the School of Medicine and prestigious for the School of Science. So we should work on that. Now we currently have a 30% academic work creation chance. They can be created at the end of each academic year. They are required to level up the campus area and can be displayed in museums to increase city attractiveness. A campus has a chance to create one academic work per 500 students each academic year, up to a maximum of four academic works per academic year. Additional academic work can be funded through a research grant. Okay. We'll do one. Excellent. Okay, now we have a bit of a desire for residential. And realistically, we're kind of up against this bay. We should do something about that, ultimately. The question, of course, becomes what? Well, we can build a road out this direction. Like so down this way, and then kind of following this line in, like that, and we can have this one come up to about here, like that, and then this one over to, well, we should have this come over and come down to here for sure, and I'm just going to try to stay right on this beach line here, not really using the curve tool, but that's okay. We'll take this down to there, and that's three blocks, so then four, five, and a 960 length. Then we'll take that down to there, 
We're getting space already occupied here, which is interesting. Now we're not. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Take that to there. That slope too steep, fair enough. Let's see about getting rid of that. Taking this over to just directly into here, maybe? Yeah, that'll do the trick. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. And then this is actually supposed to be 960. So this road should not exist. And of course, this highway may end up extending over this way. If that's the case, we're going to need to come up with a way to do this. With a three-way intersection, which is going to be interesting, to be sure. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to go about handling that. We do definitely need to do some expansion. I kind of want to stay away from this meta block as well as this one, because the Academiopolis Institute may end up expanding into one of those two directions. However, we can buy some land. So let's go ahead and purchase this, as well as this. We can still continue to buy more, so we'll purchase this land, and there we go. We've got our entire main island now purchased, and we're going to grab this, and probably this over here, and this up here. And that'll be about it. And we'll just build that all out. Excellent. So obviously this highway here is largely a non-starter. I think. And I just want to make sure that this is the correct length. It doesn't quite feel like it is. Yeah, it absolutely is. Okay. And I may end up getting rid of this road. Yeah, I think I will. I don't think that road is super worthwhile. But that does mean that we can start another meta block over here. And we're going to have to follow the coastline a little bit. But that's okay. So we'll just take this down over this way, down over this way, straight to the coast, and then hook it on in. It's getting a little awkward in there, but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, let's take this down here. So let's see, this is three blocks in, so this is going to go over four and five, like that. Take this in, and then something like, yeah, this will actually be basically fine, and then we'll just leave that. Take this down here, this is going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, okay. So this is exactly where the highway goes, obviously. And we can actually send a road directly under it like that. We can't over here because we're going to need to do something about this, but that'll give us something to work with. And then this over here is, of course, 5 in, so we need to go over 960. Okay, there we go. That'll give us something to work with. We're going to need to run some water over here as well. Water runs on this level. So that's fine. Go ahead and just run that all the way over there. Then once we have this completed, we'll probably build this highway up here and start working on this three-way intersection, which is going to be interesting for sure. I'm going to have to think about how I want to handle that, as well as the fact that we've got this bit of mountain right here. We're going to need to potentially do something about that as well. But for right now, we're going to keep working on this meta block over here. Just get these... Ooh, that was one too far. Just get these road structures built out. Why is someone driving here? What are you doing? Oh, that's a road maintenance truck. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say, there's nothing out here. There's no reason for anyone to be here. But the road maintenance truck is fine. Okay. Just about have this meta block complete. I went too far with that one again. Technically, I could have just connected it up like this and done that, and that probably would have been slightly more efficient, because you don't get all the money back from demolishing it, right? So, that's okay. 
So for right now, let's go ahead and give some dense residential over here. All of this stuff over here will be fine. That should be dense residential, as should this. I don't know how I missed that previously. Okay, there we go. That'll do for now. A lot of that will need to be taken out, obviously. But uh, eventually that'll be fine. And I do definitely want to have the highway going this way. But we're going to need to figure out how exactly we want to handle this. Do we carve a tunnel through the mountain? Maybe. Maybe we do exactly that. Of course, there's also this three-way intersection, and this isn't going to work exactly. I'm going to need to figure out how exactly I want to do that. Fault tech camera. When is our academic year up, though? Best, you have got to go big. That's why Three more weeks. Okay, so that'll be in the next I'm episode. Sure I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Lenses, Leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all in fact, next time. The most valuable camera is the one that you're afraid to take outside. Fault tech.